Hello and welcome to the show. What a way to start a GTA 5 race. Uh, yeah, we're here with some pre's and a wacky circuit. The best kind of racing, really. Uh, I don't quite... Uh, it's a figure of eight-ish that loops around the motorway. I think there's going to be some traffic involved, possibly. Oh, we're going to try and start on the blimp. It's going to be our new start line. Yes. We shall start... We shall start on the blimp um, and see what happens, really, from all of this. Uh, I don't know where the longbow was going. Oh, they're, they're playing over there, were they? Um, there's boost pads. There's a Gliska doing a sneaky jump start. Uh, there's going to be a lot of mayhem in this. It might come down to pure luck as to who wins and who survives best. We will give it a try and see what happens here. Oh, that's a bit bumpy over there. So I think traffic's going to spawn running down the motorway. Maybe it's going to get launched by something. I'm not quite sure how it all works. Oh, God. Yeah, there's a thing that's just gone shooting through <laughs> there. Right. Okay. I see how, I see how the mayhem's going to unfold. Uh, it might take a little while for traffic to start spawning properly. It doesn't always spawn reliably. But, uh, uh, yeah, it's already making a mess of things. Wonderful. Uh, there's a truck on the circuit. That's what we want. This is what Wreckfest needs. Just added random traffic cars getting in the way of the figure of eights. There's definitely no way any of that can go wrong at all. Um, there's a bit of a traffic jam appearing. Oh, we'll go for a push. Liam, I think, to the lead of the race. I tried to make it work and it didn't. Um... Is there? There's a glitchy truck. Oh, there's a car has got pinged off at great speed. Uh, well, let's hope that we're all right across here. We are. Something wasn't. <laughs> Something went bang. I don't know what it was. Something had a bad day, though. That much is for sure. There's a Nine Tails fighting all sorts of oversteers. Something just fallen from the sky. Oh, nope. I can't pull the car away. Uh, at the rate we're going, it's going to set up more. Oh, there's a truck going up the ramp. That's asking for trouble. The right we go, we're just going to make a traffic jam and then make the crossover impossible. Uh, just with random trucks. Good god, something got so shot out of there with great speed. Oh, it, now it started. Oh, I have lost control of me pre. As is Longbow, as is Ladder, <laughs> Stevie and Leo. There's a truck on the circuit. Where did that come from? Why is there a truck on our circuit? Um, let's fight. Oh, someone dropped a trailer and spun Stevie. Oh, it's getting very glitchy in the middle of the track now, isn't it? Great. Oh, no, don't throw a fiery wreck of a truck at me. That looked a lot... Okay, it's got madder. <laughs> it took in a couple of laps for the chaos to ramp up, but now it's really ramped up here, isn't it? There's a person running. There's a... Oh, there was a Jeep in the way. Let's just give it as a boop. We're fine. Everything is good. Everything is not under control, but it's as good as it's going to get, I think. Nope. Understeer. Ugh. Miles and miles of pre-understeer Regina, don't you dare reverse. Uh, there's another Regina just throwing itself at the truck. Where is the pickup going? I was trying to get on the motorway. That's fine. They're four wide for the lead of the race. Ignore the... Well, say ignore. The, the um, position counter is correct because we're looping around, so it's only measuring like direct distance. So, oh, I think there was a car that wasn't showing on my end. Ninetales hit something, stopped, and then did a backflip over me when I... It got involved. Sure. Uh, that's a lot narrower gap now than it would normally be. Things have calmed down a little bit. I say that. I was expecting that to explode. It was very glitchy and very laggy, but... Uh, <laughs> Hello, random falling debris. Uh, right, we're trying to get the lead of the race here. Oh, cars have appeared. Cars have appeared. Angus has gone around. <laughs> we're alive. How are we alive? We shouldn't be alive, but we are. Uh, this is wonderfully out of control. Something exploded in a really weird place. Something else has exploded. Lots of things have exploded! Lots of things have exploded and chucked cars at us. Oh, one thing went and it was just the whole chain reaction of explosion. We were actually having a sensible... The thing is, everything is exploding around us. It might be about to rain and stuff fall from the sky. We're actually having a really sensible battle for the lead. Oh, fiery jeep. Why? <gasps> Random SUV, well, I say that, and Pegasus had a massive accident, so it's now less of a sensible um, race for the lead here. Uh, whoa, that was on fire, whatever it was. There's a pickup truck being chucked around. I'm trying to see where anyone might be appearing from. There is a wreck. Oh, at uh, the first corner, so we will, yeah, not, not fight too much over that. Uh, here we go for the crossover point now. Follow Stevie. Um, sure. No, no, not sure. 
we got traffic punted at us. Oh, I think I reversed into somebody while trying to recover. Might have been a longbow. Sorry, longbow. Something else has exploded. Gliska and Blakey have tried to climb over us. Thank you for the bump start. That was it was much needed, to be honest. It did help. We got going again. Uh, we've fallen to fifth. Not too bad. It's got quite littered with debris down here. Um, Regina having trouble about to get flung around the catapult. This is a wonderful circuit, I have to say. Uh, it's as much chaos as you could have ever possibly have wanted. <laughs> Sudden truck out of control. There's a longbow out of control. How on earth? I think it's nine tails. How on earth you got away with that? Well done. Managing to have that somehow pointing the right direction after all of that. Uh, the trailer's still about. Um, there is... For a second I thought that was a random car. The, the line to turn... Woo! Stevie, good reaction times on that. The, the line to turn one has got narrower, a lot narrower, when the pickup decides to reverse. Uh, sure, a block of four cars heading towards the crossover. That can only go well. Thank you, AI car, for taking out the purple machine there. You did save me. Uh, we are not... I, was, I wanted to go for the full rotation, but the car just didn't want to, so... I was on. I was in holding the. Ah, uh, of course. I was holding the brake, but the car might be going fast enough. It still wanted to brake rather than put it in reverse. So I wanted to just flip the car around, but I think. Whoa, jeep! But <laughs> uh, it, it didn't work either way. The whole trying to spin the car around, which is a little bit of a shame for me. Uh, however, I mean we're still sixth. Anything can happen in this. Liam's gone around. Oh my god, where is the gap there? There is a gap, there is a gap, there is a gap, we're third. <laughs> You've just got to spot the gap and hope. Oh, Blake's going to shoot through there. There's like a massive amount of double and triple cutbacks going on in all of this. Um, there's a gap there. Gosh, out of the corner of your eye, a flying truck. That's not quite going to land on the racing line. It would have been glorious if it had. I mean... I don't want to get taken out by a flying truck, but if you're going to get taken out of a race, let it be by a truck soaring through the air with the greatest of ease and a big explosion. Or oh, don't make contact across there, that's going to end poorly. If we do, I had to think about it. Not quite. Now we're back to sensible racing techniques amongst the chaos. Uh, it's sensible racing while it rains truck debris down. Lado's got into the side of Dogger, and we are round. Oh. Yeah, not much we could have done with that one. I mean, this is one of those races, if you do fall behind, uh, it's very difficult to catch back up again. So if you if you are in trouble, it kind of just gets worse and worse because you get at awkward places in the crossover. And Oh, Impega saved us in that one and <laughs> took the hit. Uh, we got back to third. Uh, and Okay, so Gliska and Ninetales have got completely screwed somewhere in all of that mess because now Liam and Longbow lead the way and Liam and Longbow have both got taken out in the same crash. There's a gap there. We can find that. Where is the Regina going? I have no idea. There's a mess by the start finish line. It's the final lap of the race. Can we do it? Can we spot the gap? Can we fight our way through this glorious mess? We're not going to get hit by pre-traffic, I don't think. Ewan's cleared the way a little bit. <laughs> it's not enough. <laughs> It was not enough. We needed a bigger street sweeper there. We still lead somehow. Oh, and Team Orange has got slaughtered by uh, actual race cars that time rather than AI traffic. That was unfortunate for Blakey, who was in second. Uh, will have lost some time in all of that. There's Bumpy. We will go behind that. Stevie's upside down. <laughs> There's a thing. I forgot the name of it. Pickup truck going up the loop. Uh, brains fried from trying to deal with all of this nonsense. Something exploded. There's a bumpy. Uh, where is a line through here? That's not explosions. That's not it. Uh, no, longbow! No! No, oh, come back! Okay, we need a miracle. Ah, oh, damn, we lost some time. It could have been worse. But uh, it could have been so much better as well. Unless longbow gets slaughtered on this bit. Uh, we're kind of hoping for... Random actor, no, random actor GTA God did not turn up. Uh, something exploded. We'll cross the line in second. I mean, it's still not a bad finish, really. All things considered, I'll take a second place, I guess, at the end of the day. Oh, that's good fun. <laughs> that's really well made. Uh, really, really well made indeed. So we take a second place. Longbow wins. Ninetales is third ahead of Liam. Blakey gets fifth, despite some bad luck at the end there, uh, getting killed by the cross traffic. But that is just a part of the race. Danger Man's a lap down. Hyper, Labo all had a bad time. Stevie's at the fastest lap of the race at the moment. As uh, we go through all oh, the cross traffic and <laughs> onto the motorway and hit by a truck. Oh, a little bit laggy, sadly. Oh, no. Oh, the lag has ruined. Oh, that's not where you want to be going, is it? 
<laughs> oh dear, and that's off. It's off to visit the scenery. Let's go see what else is going on. Um, but there we go. And that was madness. And it can only get madder. I mean, it wouldn't be a silly race if we didn't have the dunes. Yes, the biggest wobbliest of trucks in GTA 5. Well, I guess the biggest wobbliest of motorsport vehicles. Uh, he's going to tackle this circuit. Oh, there is a million things that are going to probably go wrong here. Uh, we lead the way, yes. I mean, it, it's so for the first lap, it's not too bad. It's going to get worse. I think it's as the field gets more spread out, like the AI spawn and interact with the boost pads more reliably, and then all manner of mayhem will appear. Uh, for now, though, it's just a sensible race with Dakar trucks, and I'm going to be stuck on the outside, and we're going to lose a heap of positions, and there's nothing I can do about it here. Uh, the, the thing I can do is not fall into the ocean, please. That would be bad. Something has exploded. There's our first explosion of the day. Oh, cement mixers are spawning. Uh, I was waiting for something at full warp speed to, to sort of hit the side of this train, because it basically is a train we've got going on here. Um, we've got a train of trucks going around. Oh, someone's throwing a trailer. Lado's going to give us a push down towards turn one. You and you're going to end up in an explodey trailer. <laughs> you and how you made that, I'm not quite sure. There's a lot of leaning going on through here. Uh, we have come out of all of this with the lead of the race. Oh, Ruiner, you're going to have a bad day there. Uh, <laughs> we got through it somehow. I don't quite know how, but we did. Okay. There's now starting to be debris, so lines are going to change. I mean, you can punt it out of the way fairly well with these. Hyper's going to go to the inside. Someone's chucked a car with where I want to be. Excuse me. <laughs> Let's just punt the stratum out of the way. That's fine. Oh, dear. Dunes and a crossover themselves is always dangerous, let alone... Uh, okay, it's still kind of calm. But we saw this last time. It took a, a lap or two. Don't want to be up on the side. Man, don't go back pointing the right way. Sorry. <laughs> Got a little crowded down there. Uh, it's fine. Lado will recover. Oh, there's a danger man at speed. You don't have time to watch that. You, you just, yeah, you don't have time to see where that run is coming from. We're going to go for a cut back on the exit here. We will. Where's... Uh, oh, there's glitchy traffic down there. Oh, going on. There's a wobble and a wobble and a fall over for Angus. Almost made it up onto the uh, side. <laughs> a little bit of a boop, and then a boop. So Lara gave us a slight boop running into there, and oh! I should have just kept going flat, I think. I tried to break to let them go in front, but it, you get such little warning, you can't see the vehicles there until it's way too late. So, yeah, that's a thing you're just going to have to deal with. Ninetales has wobbled down the wrong way. Uh, there is cross traffic down there, but it's not really all that not going to do that much to us. Don't hit the... I think there's a blimp on the inside there as we rolled off into Lado almost. Uh, we're up to four. Oh, Gliska with a huge flight through there. Oh. <laughs> don't know what that was. An SUV, I think, was thrown at us. Well, that's fine. There's no problems. Uh, is it starting to get busy? I think it is in the mid section. Where's a gap? 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 Oh! Gap! Has... We, well, we found a gap. And then something went underneath the truck. And now we're still rolling, and now we're stuck on our side. Go, 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 go! It was an exquisite flip, I will say. It, it was an excellent... Again, if we're going to crash, go out in style. And that was definitely very stylish uh, right there. I've just seen... No, oh, I couldn't turn in time. I, that time I did have some warning that there was a crash going on. So there was incoming vehicles. I just... Right, I now know... The, the relative distances and the speeds, if we can if we can catch a glimpse of them through uh, a little gap in the tubes, we might be able to make a better judgement call next time around. Is that gap there going to be? Uh, we can just punt the sports car out of the way. Uh, not very often I'd hit an Audi R8. Nice cards and everything, but in this, with the Dakar truck, we're fine with it. Um, Blakey's going to ping off them. We're going to have a nice little gap for us. Okay, we're actually that far down in the grand scheme of things. The intersection hasn't gone as crazy this time as it did last time out, although it might get there later on as we go. Oh, get across in front. Uh, yeah, it stayed a little bit calmer. I mean, it's still been mayhem, but just a smidge less of it, uh, really. Which is nice. I say that as something just been chucked through this through the sky. So, Beggar leads this little group. I think that's Lado in third. Lado is up in third place, so our little, uh, our little contact hasn't done too 
I haven't been too bad. Uh, oh, I wanted to try and make sure I got clear of Blakey and clear of the cars. A bit of a funny line. I'm actually... I'm at a bit of a dangerous place here. If we don't get this right, I fear we could be in for some contact on the crossover. Oh, there was a gap, but that relied on the purple truck not... So it relied on the purple truck realising and seeing in time, which is difficult to do here. Um, now we are done for. Now we're not going to be able to get back into that lead group. Unless mayhem occurs. Uh, I knew I was in trouble as well, because I had a little bit of a bad ride. If we'd stayed in the slipstream trail, it would be fine, but... We kind of fell off it, and once we fell off of it, that was the end of that. Now, oh, we got taken out by a cement mixer. When it goes wrong, it does go wrong in this. Uh, well, we got taken out by a cement mixer, and then Blakey had nowhere to go and pinged off the side of his truck. Can you come down, please? Thank you. <laughs> Eventually, we're going to need a big old miracle to win from here. It's never impossible, I guess, with this sort of track, this sort of race. Oh, we, me and Longbow are being too kind. <laughs> we're both trying to avoid each other. And uh, both ended up slowing down. Yeah, I, I figured that as long as sort of the lead car is the responsibility of the uh, car further down to to do that. Oh, dodging! And we did just avoid the longbow. Now, because we had a break, we slowed. We should, in theory, not get caught up with longbow again. Hopefully. Or be at different points. This time we'll be ahead. So that time we've got three vehicles. So we have... Well, normally if it was one, like a one... 1v1. This is just two vehicles getting to a crossover and let the lead car go. When you're in a big group, the group has priority because, well, they can. They've got the physical power to punch through. Oh, good dodge from Longbow. <laughs> yeah, Longbow's in a bad place with me, Ninetales, and Blakey in, in terms of the crossovers every time we're going to get there. And of course, every time we're going to be in a group, although this time we might have sorted it, we might be far enough away that uh, Longbow is behind. Yeah, okay. So this is our battle for seventh. It's probably about as high as we're going to get, barring mayhem at the intersection, which looks like it has gone on a bit up ahead. Fisker, Lado and Angus are fighting over third. Oh, we're on the outside of nine ten. I, mean, I love how we're having a sensible Dakar truck battle in amongst this mayhem, really. Uh, we're still going to be side by side with nine tails. Got to be careful though with this, because as, literally, as I said, as I was going to say it, Blakey's going to do what I was expecting. You have a big dive, because... Uh, Oh, although we've got a great run on the exit here. Oh, level 8 turned up. <laughs> sorry. Okay, I say sorry, like we can do anything about it. Nine Tails came off worse that time around. And that was why the pack has priority, if you like, because we have three vehicles. We have momentum going through that intersection. Uh, oh, fiery cars got thrown at me. Blakey crashed into a pre. Uh, all is good in the world of GTA. Uh, something else has exploded. This is the final lap of the race. Big explosions have gone on. Oh no! I think we've cost Gliska the win. Oh, I've also reversed into a beggar. Um, we, I think we cost Gliska the win. Lado gets second in all of that. Uh, me and Blakey were busy having our own little battle and it just ended up that... Uh, oh, Blakey's going to turn up in front of Nightel. <laughs> Nightel's is gone. And we end up... Oh dear. <laughs> That's brilliant. Completely bonkers, completely crazy. Um, not as mad on the intersection that time. I, I, I don't quite know why. Maybe it's the spawn set of vehicles. I think. Although we had some cement mixers, we still got caught. We still got caught by it, but not quite as ludicrous as uh, the first round. The first round was utterly balmy in terms of what went on. Uh, Liam took victory. Lado was only a couple of tenths behind. Uh, yeah, we pretty much murdered Gliska's chances of winning that one. Not intentional. Uh, we were having our own battle and just, yeah, didn't realise we were going to be at that point. But there we go. That is going to be it for this video. Thank you all very much for watching. Thank you to Hone for building this wonderful, wacky circuit. That shall be it for today. Until next time, a uh, goodbye.